Visual SQL will automatically select the chart type that best fits your data. If you'd prefer a different chart type, you can select one of the available chart types from the right panel. If a chart type is unavailable, it will be grayed out, but you can still select the chart type to see the additional formatting you'd need to apply to your data to be able to use that chart type. You can customize the chart through its settings, which is accessible by clicking on the gear icon next to chart. You can add a chart title, apply access labels, use custom colors, and add value labels, among other customization options. Let's title this chart, Issues Created and Resolved Each Month. Next, we can label the x-axis by coming to the Access tab, and we'll label the x-axis month. We'll also label the y-axis count of issues. Notice how each customization we added to the chart also appears in the Chart Preview section of the settings. Saving the chart to the dashboard will also save our customizations. Next, we can take a look at the Chart Options menu for the chart. If you hover over the chart and select the ellipsis, the Chart Options menu will appear. Once this menu opens, you'll be able to edit an existing chart or open its settings. You can make a copy of the chart move it to a different dashboard, or even delete it. You can manually refresh the chart data, view the data, or review the performance of the chart. If your chart is experiencing errors or slow loading times, the chart performance is a great place to start investigating. You can also download the chart as various file types to share with others. To share a direct link to the chart, just hover over the chart and grab the link by clicking on this link icon. Additionally, you can comment on an individual chart to make an observation or ask a colleague a question.